Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh Shemel Shabbat Shemu Kakodash. Shalom to the whole food left out there. And uh, I'll just uh, entitle it a Response to Little Deval Shadow uh, Foreshadows His Destruction in Yours. And this also the word uh, MOTB. It's a conversation on, I'm going to say a few words on the MOTB which we all know what it is and it's coming. And, you know, we hear a great millstone push it all the time. Um, this is a video that was put up 11 hours ago by uh, a GMS South Carolina uh, 08. And uh, you see the title right there, Lil Duval, which is a comedian, foreshadows, never heard of him, uh, foreshadows his destruction and yours. So it says, there's a post right here, Lil Duval, uh, right now y'all saying F that MOTB, C hip. So I'm thinking he had to have listened to us, you know, all these celebrities, you know, top entertainers. Give me a second here. All these are celebrities, top entertainers, and so forth, uh, sports figures, uh, politicians, among our people. They all know about the um, whole, what they call the uh, Israelite movement or the BHI movement or the Black Hebrew Israelite movement. And uh, when you speak about that, you know, certain uh, groups' names are going to come up uh, ISUPK, GMS, IUIC, Sakari. And, and others, you know, HOI, um, AOC, um, uh, was L LOI, many uh, HODC. But uh, the prominent ones um, on YouTube is like the IUIC, ICPK, GMS, Kari. Those are the prominent ones. Because, you know, I, I, us here at GMS, we're always, if you're part of camp, you have to put up videos and you should be putting a video every single day. If not every day, you should be consistent with it. Shouldn't be a point where you don't do a video for three months and then three months in a day, you do a video that's 10 minutes long or it might be a, a re-up from another brother's video. The, the spirit's not working with you. The spirit, the spirit, your, the spirit that you're supposed to be in with this truth is um, maximum overdrive. And each and every one of you have to work for your crown work out your own soul, uh, salvation with fear and trembling. Fear is a key word. Uh, so I'll read the post. I'm not going to make this long. I said, right now, y'all saying F that M, that, you know, the C hip, but eventually you going to get it just like everything else you swore you would never do. So I take it that he didn't say, well, I've watched the GMS video. And he's obviously not talking about the uh, IUIC or the ISUPK. He could be talking about Sakari. Sakari pushes it just as well as we, as much as we do. Or while we push it, we push it all the time. We should even change change our name to the M, the uh, MOTB camp, because we say it, you know we go into it so much. And we were going into it uh, yesterday at the camp. The first, the first half an hour. No, I'm sorry, the first hour, we're going into a bunch of precepts, fire rapid precepts. We went into uh, Revelation, we touched on Revelation 20 and 4, we touched on Revelation uh, 15, 1 and 2, we touched on uh, Revelation uh, 16, 1 and 2. Uh, we didn't hit, we spoke about Revelation 13 and um, other related scriptures dealing with the uh, you know, the Karagma, the, the MOTB. And then we went into our, another subject we kind of changed up. Um, but we're going to always push that out. You know, you know, if you, anybody that says, well, GMS is all they talk about is MOTB. If you don't like what we're saying, you don't have to, you don't have to watch our video. You don't got to come on our video to tell us, there they go again, talking about the MOTB. 
and put it on our comment board. If you don't like what's saying, you can change the channel, you know? Anyway, we after the camp, we were listening to, because uh, we got there early. And I noticed the young brothers wasn't out there. They got out there a little late. Because sometimes we get out there a little late. What our thing is try, to try to get out there as about three o'clock. You got traffic. Sometimes you no traffic. Sometimes there's a bunch of traffic. Sometimes there's situations. So sometimes we'll get out there, and we we hate that. If we get out there at three thirty, that's all right. If we get out there at three, that's even better. You know, if we get out there at four, we're kind of mad. <laughs> I'm cursing them guys out. Where y'all guys at? There's traffic on this highway, went on that highway. So, you know, this Saturday we got out there. We got out there um, pretty early. We got out there a little after three. And um, we noticed that there was uh, the younger brothers in the other camps that wasn't out there. And I was concerned about that. And I'm saying, I hope they're not like timing it well, but the, the top the top, you know, apostles, they can come out here sometime at four o'clock, sometime at you know, quarter to four. Well, I don't got to be here that or I don't got to be there at three o'clock. When we were young men in this thing, we was in doc, the camp, the 44th camp, we used to get, get together at the school, have a class, get together there about 11, 30, 12 o'clock, have a class for an hour. Then we go down and speak and we'd be out there. The whole day, we're talking from about 12, to about eight o'clock at night, and we go further because sometimes we'd be out there until, you know, ten o'clock. A couple of times we was out out there until one o'clock in the morning. You know, two twelve twelve midnight. After twelve, you know, I'm talking about back years. I'm talking about going back thirty more than thirty years ago. Thirty years inside joke. So, you know, the. Uh, the seven above us, they came out a little bit later, but I, I didn't say, well, I'm going to come out. I'm going to time it. When they come out, I'm going to come out. No, the spirit was on me to get out there super early. And then when the, the uh, seven got out there, you know, or some of the seven, when they got out there, they, they would be there with them still. So the scripture says, let every man be, let every... <laughs> Um, I just quoted in Philippians 2.12, um, work out your own salvation. So your salvation not based on what we do. Each, each and every last one of you have your path to salvation. So if you look at a guy, well, this guy, they don't get on him because he comes late. I'm going to start coming late. Well, each, the most high is dealing with each and every individual. So if we just said, the top said, you know, the apostle said, we, no, we ain't coming out. Y'all just go out. A lot of y'all would say, man, I ain't going out either. Hey, the, the, the scriptures say in the Apocrypha, um, thou fareth man, but not the most high. That's in the Ecclesiasticus. I'm not going to bring it out. Uh, but this is, this is your, this is for each, this is an individual thing. Each and every one of you are going to be judged. Some, some of you will get your head chopped off. You will get locked up in prison in relation to not keeping the uh, karagma. Some of us might not be because there is going to be a deliverance when you go to uh, Revelation, um, Revelation 20 and verse 4. Uh, it speaks about if they don't accept it, they, they're going to be beheaded. Well, it's obvious not going to be talking about all of them, because some of them be locked up. Some of them may be in the mountains. Some of us may be in the mountains. Some of us may be hidden somewhere. We don't know how it's going to be. All we can do is speculate as to how they're going to set this thing up. But it's and I said yesterday, I said, um, I, I would say like six months. OK, this is almost June, a couple of days shy of June, so June, July, August, September, October, November, December. The December, that's seven months that's going into 2024. Um, they they're talking about this, the uh, CBDC. All, all of y'all should know what that means already. We said it enough, we broke it down enough. Even IUIC is using the, uh, the, the 
term, term uh, CBDC, acronym CBDC. And we said that that's gonna come into play before the Karagma because the CBDC is gonna lead into an app or a QR code or uh, an app in your smartphone. That's why these people that are coming up from South, Central and South America, and a lot of them are dark skinned with woolly hair, got, a, got Moabites coming up in there, but you mostly got you know people from Colombia and different areas of, of the South coming up through Mexico, coming up to the Americas. And uh, what they're doing is, is now is they're processing them um, and they're giving them, and part of their process, they're giving them, giving them smartphones. They're giving them smartphones. Why smartphones? Because everything is going to be based upon an app. Everything going to be based upon an app. So eventually that app will no longer be in your phones, but you would have to put it in your body. So we broke it down. If you can't see it, it ain't meant for you to see it. The most I haven't opened up your eyes or you took that bag. Either, either way. So this comedian, and so you watch this video, it's a short video, 30, 30 minutes. Anyway, um, this was on the post, so it got to him. So he did a video on it. And the other men in GMS will speak on this, I'm sure. So it says, so little Deval, right now y'all saying F the microchip. And we we actually said that. We actually said F the microchip. So he had he's got to be talking about either us or Sakari, maybe more so us, but I don't know. He didn't say. But did, but he saw heard somebody say F the microchip. I'm not taking the microchip, right? I don't think he's talking about the Bible, Bible belt people, you know, the so-called Edomites, which a lot of them are Jake, I believe. You know, they got Scottish. Scottish background and uh, Irish background, like in, in um, Tennessee and and uh, Memphis. That that's a music country music because that talent, you know, if you listen, if you get into country music, that's that's then that, that, that's, the sound is funny. But those words are you know, those words are coming from Jake, man. That's Jake right there. Yeah, that's a that, that's Memphis is the country music capital of the world. You know, you got uh, this guy, um, damn. Uh, damn, I can't even think of his name. He was uh, he was uh, a Mickey Mouse Club. He's a singer. I can't even think of the guy's name. Uh, Justin Timberlake. He got to be a Jake or Gadite or Irish because he can sing. He can dance. He moves like Jake. He hangs out with Jake. So a lot of those people that come from the like the middle of America, the Bible Belt, a lot of them are Jake. And the first, your first uh, ones that's going to come out and say we're not taking the Karak because the Karagma is coming. They're going to issue the Karagma. And like I said, it's going to go from your smartphone in the form of an app. And that app is going to go inside of your, you know, your, your, your C hip. Real talk. So when that actually happens, the IUIC and the ISUPK, they're going to have to change their tune. They're going to either have to, come up with something because that's going to really is really going to get those people that follow these groups they're going to ask a lot of questions and they're not going to do they're going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place and they're going to ask their leaders and their leaders are either going to lie to them and a lot of some of them are going to see through the lie and they're going to say well gms was right uh but some of them are just going to take it because they say well i'm just going to have faith faith in this guy cursed be the man that trusted the man the symbol believeth every word. You know, there comes a, comes a time in a man and woman's life when they learn this truth, well, you got to think on your own. You know, when, when, when we first got on YouTube, 2007, July 27, 2008, 2009, you had a lot of different brothers, men from uh, various camps outside of, the, outside of the, uh, our state, um, outside of the country, they used to come up all the time. They come up, you know, certain groups would come up like once every six months. They come out, come up, come out all the time. Chi Town came out, you know, a handful of times. But Dallas came. Dallas was the first to come out when it was a small little group. It was really like four men, you know. And uh, then you even had brothers from other countries. You had from London. The brother from London came out a couple of times. 
different brothers came out. They don't come out that much like like they used to because you know what? They got the truth. They don't they don't they don't need us necessarily because they got the truth. They have all the answers. They ate the role like we ate the role. So what they what what are they doing now? They're going out there and teaching. That this is the, the easy thing. Eat this role, then go out and teach the sons of Israel. That there's two steps to this thing. There's two steps. If you can describe what a prophet of Israel is supposed to do in a nutshell, there's two things. Eat the roll, digest the full roll, get the understanding. That means you got to know a little Hebrew and a little uh, Greek. You got to know root words, etymology, um, and then go out and teach. Once you, a teacher becomes a teacher, like most teachers are, have master's degree, right? They can teach third, third grade. They specialize in te teaching third graders. They specialize in teaching, uh, you know, first year college kids or uh, ninth grade uh, high school. And then you have uh, teachers that teach graduates, which are teachers themselves, but they go to uh, graduate school to get to go from being a master to a doctorate degree and so forth, which to me is all bullshit. All those degrees are bullshit to me. But uh, it's the same thing with this. You have to get a, a so, for lack of a better term, you have to get a master's degree. The scriptures speak about masteries. So you have to master this book. Anybody that cut, rolls up on you and asks you a question, you got to be able, okay, let me give you the answer. Go to this precept, go to that precept. So we ate the roll. We damn sure ate the whole roll. We digested it. And then, and so now what we're doing, we're on the level of teaching other people. And part of the gospel is the MOTB. That's why when the MOTB comes up, we tell you what it is. We don't, we don't, you know, back, we don't backtrack on it. We don't change it up. You know, we don't avoid it. You know, we look for, when you ask us, what about the MOTB, IUIC? We got a smile on our face. I say, okay, let me break it down to you. If they say, well, I don't see it your way. I see it IUIC. So oh, I just, uh, I, I used to be case where I said, well, you know what? You can go to them. You, you can go to them. And there's other camps. I'm just mentioning some of the prominent camps. So I'm pretty goddamn sure that this guy, Little Duval, the comedian, watched one of came across one of our videos. If not one of ours, came across one of Sakari's. And maybe myself or somebody else saying we ain't taking the correct karagma. Like I said, the first people that's going to protest this is going to be the Bible Belt people. So it says right now, y'all say F that M that MC hip, but eventually you going to get it. Well, the ones that's not going to get it are the elect. Just like everything else you swore you would never do. Well, the ones of you that do take it, you're doomed. You're destroyed. You're not going to make it. You're going to be a part of that fire. That great fire, that great, uh, um, burnt sacrifice because a miracle, like I said, is an altar. The word sacrifice goes to the word altar. All right. So, you know, that's all I'm pretty much going to say. You can watch the rest of this. I'm, I'm going to watch the rest of this video. I'm only five minutes in, and this came up. So he's watching somebody. He's watching somebody of, of Israel. Anyway, uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.